Hello racers and welcome to today's video. Uh, today we're going to continue the setup guide series with a review of the Essential Touring Car RC Racers Guide by David B. Stevens. Uh, in these setup guide videos and reviews what we do is we take a look at the author, um, see their background and, and take a look at uh, when the book was written, kind of understand the, the context and then we'll take a look at the content of the book with a special focus on Roll Center. And the reason why that we've been looking at the Roll Center across this series is because it is a it can be a confusing topic and it's a topic that has changed uh, the approach to Roll Centers has changed over time. So it's it's interesting to see. So, let's dive right in with take a look at David David Stevens who's the author of this book. Uh, on the front cover, uh, all the all the people that have participated in the book get a little bit of a foreword. So we have one by Mark Reinhardt, one by Ronald Volker, and one for Dave Stevens. Uh, Dave is an RC racer and hobbyist. Uh, he hasn't raced at the world level, but he has certainly had experience uh, with RC racing. He authored uh, rcformula1.com launched that website so when formula one came out for rcs he w was one of the first uh, involved in that area and he created a website uh, for tuning and setting up of rc formula ones uh, he's written several setup guides in his own little series so he's written one for touring cars one for 12 scales one for off-road so we'll be We'll have reviewed all those in our own series here. And his claim to fame is that he's a technical writer and author. So he um, he's good at uh, getting together information and presenting it in an easy-to-apply format. What attracted me about this book is that I noticed that it said included updated speed secrets by Ryan Maker. Uh, I had the Speed Secret by Ryan Maker book. We did a review of this one earlier. Uh, it's a very small book, as you can see, and that is in here. So I was looking forward to seeing that. So that's why I ordered this copy. So let's take a look at the table of contents and see what you get in the Essential RC Racers Guide. Uh, you get your introduction with the, the four words of the of Mark Reinhardt, Ronald Volker, and the author. Uh, then we get a, a chapter on driving. Uh, so this is something new to these setup guides. Um, actually, a, a section on you know how to how to break, how to turn in, um, with the different lines that you would take around corners. So that section is pretty interesting, and it's something that other books have not done. Uh, really. Um, had a little section here on driver etiquette great to see about lapping how to pass how to do how to be a corner marshal uh, so that you know for a new racer that is good information to get to understand um, there's a chapter on the build initial setup and body shell mounting and those chapters pretty much come straight from from uh, Ryan Maker and one unusual thing that I found in this book was that chapter three, uh, they gave a, that's when Ryan Maker was introduced. So all the other authors were presented in the, at the start of the book, Ryan Maker's presented at chapter three, which I, which I found kind of funny since it, it said it included him as a, as an author and then kind of comes in late. So he's late to the game. That's part of the mystery of this, of this book. So there are sections that are authored by Ryan. And then what I noticed is that within the book, you see these green blocks. These are uh, Ryan Maker talking about different aspects of the of setup. So back to the table of contents. So we have a couple of chapters on building the car. So Ryan was all about building the car for a large race, how to prepare the car, how to build it so everything is free and the initial setup of the car and had a body 
how to mount the shell for different um, you know aspects of whether you want the more downforce on the front or back and then we have a chapter uh, kind of the meat of the book is the car setup reference now in the car setup reference we're going to turn to the chapter six and see what he says at the beginning and shows a picture of the touring cars um, it's it's uh, covered alphabetically so the reference is alphabetical not by priority so that's a little bit different than other books usually a book would focus on on like what's the priority of making different adjustments uh, he pre he presents it alphabetically which uh, makes it I found it, it made it a little bit difficult to tell what was important and what wasn't important uh, like is Ackerman the most important thing uh, you don't really know when you when you uh, look through the book um, but it is well presented we'll take a look at the roll center section kind of get a feel of of the different aspects here of what what you get in any particular section uh, you, you'll get a diagram explaining the the setting the adjustment um, how to calculate it um, little pictures on how to um, on, on how to think about it I'll just present my little picture here so we can kind of think about roll center uh, for the, the traditional approach to roll center was that a low roll center as the car was approaching a corner it entered the corner and the car would begin to roll so with the car rolling at entry the car would be you know wouldn't have full grip until it reached mid corner and exit when the car was fully rolled so that's a, a low roll center would give later grip in the corner but it would give more grip a high roll center would give more grip in entry but because the car hadn't rolled mid corner and exit had a little less grip than if it was a low roll center so th those are the trade-offs traditionally in in roll center well, let's take a look and see how he positioned that There we go. Back to roll center. So just to just to kind of cover cover it, it says lowering the roll center. The blue line becomes longer, therefore the car will more will roll more and traction will be increased. It will take more time to roll, so the car will react slower to steering inputs and feels less responsive. So while the car is rolling, uh, it's, the car is not putting grip to the ground. The car is still loading up suspension. Using a low roll center may assist in traction rolling. So then we see, we, so then we, how these things are presented, they usually have a little table. You can see that, you know, a little table if in the front roll center, if you lower it, you change it by either adjusting this lower suspension arm or you can adjust the upper link and the effect. So the, traditionally each adjust, each uh, setting will have how it can be adjusted and the effect of the adjustment. On the little, the thing that I noted in it was that it said lower roll center gave more steering response, which was in con contrast to up here where it said low roll center will have the car react low, re react slower, and it would have less response. So there's a little bit of a conflict between paragraph above and the the effect there and I think that you know we a little bit more research would have to be done there to see which to see which um, is correct now I showed the picture of entry mid corner and exit and maybe it's talking about exit or mid corner we don't know uh, you, the book doesn't necessarily break it down by the this the where something happens in the corner it just more or less has the effect uh, so then once you move past all those all the different settings and adjustments that you can do then there's a chapter on tweak and then there's a chapter on case studies 
Now the case studies, I thought at first I thought, well, that you know that that's the content there wasn't very effective. But what I found is that it would break it down by uh, what the racer did, all the different adjustments that they made to their car for a, a, a race day. And this was on like a high grip, high grip track, and what all the adjustments that Ronald Volker, Volker made. And then you flip the page, and it talked about Mark Reinhardt and all the adjustments that Mark did. And then Alexander Hagberg and all the adjustments that Alexander Hagberg did. So that, that kind of stuff is invaluable to the to the crowd that is looking for setup sheets and and how to adjust their car. I'll take a look at the table of contents again. So we got the car setup reference, alphabetical order, doesn't really say which setting is to be done when, but they're all there. Diagrammed out how to adjust them all. Chapter on tweak, chapter on the case studies, chapter nine, other body shells. And then you get some of these, some of these appendices. You get a uh, chapter on the glossary of terms, a buyer's guide. The meat of this book, or I guess the money of this book, are these Appendix D checklists. And especially around the correcting key balancing issues. And I want to, I want to show you guys some of those. So I, I thought I had a little. Yeah, we do. So here's here's an example. I'll just bring that up to the camera. So in under this correcting key balance issue section, um, I got some of it covered over because they're not my secrets to give. They're Ryan Maker Speed secrets. But for instance, traction, how to increase traction. He gives a step by step in priority as to how to get your car. To, ha to increase traction, to tell you what to do and what page that you can look it up on. So he says, first thing to do, add additive to the tires for more grip. Go to page 153 for the details. Second thing to do, increase camber. Go to page 98. Third thing to do, uh, raise your ride height higher. Go to page 134. So And there's more to it than that. So this section here I have seen save save racers racers are race days at large events as the, the traction would increase cars would start to traction roll and you can look that there's a traction roll s section on page 260 and that would say you know what do you do if your car is traction rolling and then step by step the adjustments you need to make to stop it from rolling so i have seen that this section of the book as save racers races and that's when I realized when I read when I read this book that if you're a new racer you start at the beginning and work your way through if you're an experienced racer you start at the back and this is where you do the quick reference section and you're more interested in in these uh, key balance issues and the tuning that you need to do to to either give you more steering or less steering or traction rolling or easier to drive so you work your way from the back and then the sections will refer you to later in the in the book as to as to what the adjustment is so after taking a look at the book and reading through it uh, my if this was the only book that i could bring to a an on-road touring car race I think that I would bring this book. It has the updated Speed Secrets by Ryan Maker. It has incredible detail in all the different adjustments that you can make on your car. And I think this, the section in the back with the key balance issue, step-by-step uh, -step instruction on how to fix that, I think that is worth the, worth the, the price of the book. So, there we go. So we've had another review. This book has been uh, been really has been really helpful, and it's added to the library. So, if you like this type of video, click the like. If you have some other topic you're interested in seeing, put it in the comments and subscribe to see the next uh, setup guide that's going to be added to the setup guide series. Thanks for watching.
See you in the next video.